Hi everyone, my name is Simone Brownlee, and here's what I say. This video goes out to all my visually impaired folks like myself who don't know what it's like to wake up in the morning and just be able to see. So I've been wearing glasses and contacts pretty much for as long as I can remember. I don't remember when I got my first pair of glasses, but I do know that I was pretty young. So I, I really don't remember what it was like being able to see back then. I'm sure it was great, <laughs> but I, I, I don't really remember. When I was younger, I went to the eye doctor and I intentionally failed my eye exam because I wanted glasses and I felt like they were accessories. I looked at them the way we look at earrings and bracelets and jewelry. I felt like it was something to just, it was like dress up, you know? Did not realize back then at that young age, you could probably just go to Claire's and pick up a pair of frames without a prescription in them and wear glasses. But I was young. I did not realize this. I wasn't thinking. So that's what I did. And I remember I was so, so excited. The first pair of glasses I ever got, we went to Lens Crafters. It's just pictured like wire rimmed bespectacles on this young girl. So I got those glasses and of course I loved them. They were shiny, literally like jewelry. I wasn't wearing, you know, plastic frames at that point. Between wearing them and the other things that I was doing to my eyes, my vision <laughs> gradually was getting worse to the point where I did need glasses. To be fair, based on genetics, I probably would have needed glasses at some point in my life anyway. But yeah, between wearing those glasses all the time and then I had a reading problem, we'll call it. I used to read 24 seven to the point where I would go underneath my comforter with my book and I would use the light from my alarm clock to read. I'm talking about those old analog clocks, like the black screen with the small red numbers. And I'm using that dim red light to read books for hours at a time at night. I'm, I'm surprised I'm not completely blind at this point based on the things I did during my childhood. So by the time I got to my freshman year in high school, I got my first pairs of contacts. I still wear contacts a lot right now, but now I'm getting back to the point in my life, now that I'm in my 20s where, oh, you know what? Glasses really are an accessory. <laughs> I was right all along. So I want some cute ones that I can wear when I'm in certain moods that go with certain outfits, certain vibes. That's what I'm looking for. And also sometimes you just want to give your eyes a break so your eyes can get dry, your eyes can get irritated, and of course the constant touching. No one wants to do that all the time, at least not me. I started shopping around to see who had glasses that I might be interested in. I wanted to find the best deal in terms of style, things that would match my style. And then of course pricing is important. I don't want to spend a million dollars on glasses. Um, I considered America's Best because I know they have some great deals on glasses, but then I realized that it was coming with like super, super cheap lenses in those really great deals. So after a lot of research, I landed on Warby Parker. It seemed like the style of the frames that they had was something that might go with my personal style. And when I looked on their website, the pricing looked really great. Another factor that did influence my decision when I first decided to order new glasses, it was kind of still during the pandemic shutdown. I mean, things are still kind of weird now, but it was on the earlier side of things. And I decided that I wanted to do something where I didn't have to go into the store. A lot of the stores were closed anyway. So I ended up ordering the Warby Parker at home try on. They give you five frames that you get to choose and you can spend five days trying them out, wearing them, like I wore them with contacts to kind of see which ones are the best fit for you, send them back and then order which ones you end up wanting. By the time you send them back, you get a notification that says, hey, which ones do you want? So in case you forgot to order, they won't let you. <laughs> I will say the inventory of Warby Parker is pretty huge. And then the amount that they have for the at-home try-on is significantly smaller. Uh, I did have a little bit of trouble narrowing it down though, so it wasn't awful. I've had the same pair of glasses since freshman year in high school. When I do give my eyes a break from the contacts, I throw those on. And so having had that same style of glasses, that was my go-to for these past literally over 10 years. I knew that I needed to try different styles, different colors to figure out what was going to work for me. You pick out what width you want to do. They can help you decide if you have a wide face, a medium face, or a narrow face. I ended up deciding my face is medium. And 
they deliver it, you get it shipped to your house. I think it takes about five days. Mine took a little bit shorter. So now I get to spend the next five days just alternating wearing these around the house and looking at myself in the mirror like a weirdo and a creep. And then at the end of those five days, I'm gonna send them back and I'll have made a decision on which ones that I want. They do say on their website that if you need a few more days, you can always reach out to them and they'll accommodate you, which I think is great for indecisive people like myself. Returning them is super easy though. It comes with a return label. So you just stick it on the box and you ship it back the same way it came. You get an email from them when they receive the package saying thanks for returning it. Which ones do you want? This is actually my second time doing the Warby Parker at home try on. The first time was a few months ago when things were still a little bit more shut down and I had a really great experience. This one was a little bit more iffy. I will say um, the glasses were not clean when they arrived which is a little bit concerning considering everything that's going on right now. But I did go ahead and just clean all of them off because what can you do? No one's perfect. Now the glasses that I originally purchased from my first at home try on are the Yardley in Chestnut Crystal. Um, so those are these right here. I do really, really like them. I have no regrets thus far in terms of quality. They're working well for me. They're not scratching. They're not bending. They're not breaking. And that's something that's important to me because like I said, I had that one pair of glasses since freshman year in high school. And so this pair and the next pair that I order, I'm going to have for a long time as well. Quality is key. For my fellow visually impaired people, what is the longest you have ever owned one pair of glasses? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see if anyone keeps them as long as I do. So I have my at home try on box here. So let's take a look, I'm so excited. So this first pair I actually got the first time I ordered from Warby Parker for at home try on. This was part of that first batch. It didn't end up being my first choice, but it was my second choice. So I did want to see if they still were a top contender for my second pair of glasses because I will be ordering a second pair. Bam, I'm gonna get all of the reflections going on right now, thanks to my lovely ring light, but <laughs> it's okay, we'll make it work. There's not really a way for me to make the reflection go away, so bear with me, y'all. All right, these are cute. I still really, really like them. They're kind of just classic. I think Warby Parker has a lot of classic styles and they've got classic ones with an edge on it. That's probably what really attracted me to them. So obviously, whiskey and tortoise. Huh. See, they're similar, but they're bigger on my face. And that's what I have to figure out if I like because I don't want them to overpower my face. Hmm. How are we feeling about these? I don't know. I like symmetrical. So the fact that this is on this side, but not on this side, it can be a little bit asymmetrical because tortoiseshell is never completely symmetrical. But I do wish that there is at least like a small, like something to match or this was smaller, but they're half. So let's see. I want to try something different and new. Hmm, I don't know if I love these as much as I thought I was going to. All right, here we go. Ooh, that is different. This is very different for me. These are like bluish crystal. Okay, don't hate these. I don't hate these at all. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content from me, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.